return to the beautiful Capitol Center. Saturday night, April 18, ladies and gentlemen, Pat Patterson counting the days until he will lock up with Sergeant Slaughter in the special grudge encounter. And from there, on the 18th of April, Mr. USA, Tony Atlas looking forward to returning, returning to once again lock up with the fabulous Hulk Hogan. Notwithstanding as well, ladies and gentlemen, the matchup between Killer Khan, the number one contender, and the World Wrestling Federation champion, Mr. Bob Backlund, in the main event. But right now, our guest, Pat Patterson, and I'm sure, Mr. Patterson, you are anxiously awaiting this date. You've said it right, Vince. I'm counting the days, the hours, and the minutes. Because when I step in the ring with you, Slaughter, I'm going to be a different Pat Patterson. I'm going to be the old Pat Patterson, a man that doesn't care about the rules. And I'm not going to be satisfied until I break your leg or your neck or one of your arm. I promise you one thing, it's not going to be a wrestling match. It's going to be a brawl, Slaughter. And on top of that, if you have the guts and the nerve to apply a cobra clutch around my neck, I promise you one thing, you'll lose $10,000. So I'm inviting you, Slaughter. I just can't wait to step in the ring with you. Thank you very much, Pat Patterson, and his comments on the upcoming grudge match with Sergeant Slaughter. Our guest now, Bob Backlund, the World Wrestling Federation champion. And Mr. Backlund, Killer Khan has certainly proven himself to be one of the great competitors. Yes, he has, Vince. You know, he's been around for quite a while. And he's, like we said before, he's been in the martial arts. He's been a sumo wrestler. You've got to respect this man. He's got a lot of abilities, uh, a good balance, and he's very determined. You can tell that by his face. And I know that people from his country sent him over here to, to win this title. And they, his, his people hate to hear about their people getting beat by an American. And boy, I sure don't want to get beat in the Washington Capitol Center by this man uh, and let him take this belt back to his country and let, let his people celebrate. I want to have some celebrating done in Washington and let those people celebrate and help me. Thank you very much, Thank Bob. You, Bob Backlund, the World Wrestling Federation champion. And in just a moment, our guest will be Freddie Blassie. Mr. Blassie, a very busy man on this night, representing Hulk Hogan as well as the big man killer card. I guarantee you, Blassie's army's gonna be rolling. Capital Center, you never see nothing like it. My men are coming out, coming out for action. You see Blassie's army in action, I guarantee you're seeing the best. Hulk Hogan gonna destroy Tony Atlas. Hmm. McMahon, I don't like the way you, huh, huh, you just like the rest of that scum out there, the pencil neck geeks. Huh, huh, huh. Well, I got news for you. Atlas, you're gone. And then the world's heavyweight title. Here he is, Killer Khan. Oh, no, 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 no. Black Lab, you must serve a crazy mockery. Back to the devices to look glad they must say. Next world champion, Killer Khan. Brett Blassie with Killer Khan, and Mr. Blassie, as we stated earlier, represents Hulk Hogan. Mr. Hogan will meet the extraordinary competitor coming into view right about now. Mr. USA, Tony Atlas, and Tony, I know you've got a score to settle at the Capitol Center, too. Yes, sir. You know, the last time that I had a match with Huck Hogan, instead of the man go here and wrestle me and, and wrestle the way he say he's going to wrestle with me, just a fair match, Huck Hogan, he tried to injure me and put me out of professional wrestling by straddling me across the rope, you know. It took me a long time to get myself together, and Freddie Blast had a lot to do with that. You know, he influenced the Huck Hogan to do a lot of stuff, because Huck Hogan... You know, he, he's a big dude, he's a strong guy, but I don't think he do a whole lot of his own thinking. I believe that Freddie Blassie got a whole lot to do with the way the man reacts in that ring. Huck Hogan had no respect. The, the last thing that he got on his man is respecting his opponent. Because he get in the ring, the first thing he can do, he spread his robe and started bragging about how big and bad and how rough and tough he is and what all he going to do to somebody. He got no belief within his heart that anybody could do anything to him. Well, Huck Hogan, you let me tell you something, brother. You ain't never been down in some dog down nasty, nasty fight that way you have to fight for your life and everything you just had to come deep down from inside and then you had to come on up and fight with everything you got. Huck Hogan, you ain't never been in one of them kind of fights where you feel like that everything is just falling to pieces and then you have to put all the pieces back together and still try to survive. Huck Hogan, then the kind of fight you're going to be in. You're going to be in the kind of fight, brother, where you don't know where you're going or where you're coming. And when I hit you so many times, Huck Hogan, you're going to look out in all this. You're going to say, y'all quit. There ain't going to be nobody but me. I'm going to whoop you, Huck Hogan, like the dog that you are. Tony Atlas, Mr. USA. We'll be back in a moment. 